Good morning, boys and girls. Today, Ms. Carol Demos and I have a fun science experiment for you. We will be creating jellyfish in a bottle. Before we start the experiment, we want to show you a quick video about jellyfish so we can learn more about the amazing creatures that they are. Let's get started. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have existed for millions of years. They were on Earth even before the dinosaurs. They live in oceans around the world in both warm and cold waters. Jellyfish can be all kinds of colors. Blue, pink, yellow, purple, and clear. Some of them even produce their own light. That's right, some jellyfish can glow. Jellyfish look a little like umbrellas and they can be big or small. Clear jellyfish can be hard to spot in the ocean, but they're there. Jellyfish are invertebrates, which means they don't have a spine. They also don't have a brain, eyes, heart, or any other bones. They have a mouth in the center of their body that they use to eat food and discard waste. Jellyfish like to ride the currents of the ocean most of the time. But sometimes to move, they squirt water out of their mouth, which propels them forward. Jellyfish can have long tentacles, and those tentacles can have stinging cells inside of them. This makes them able to stun their prey so they can eat it. Jellyfish can live in shallow or deep waters and can come very close to the shore at the beach. You may have seen one before. But if you see a jellyfish, be sure to give it space. Their stings are very painful. Ouch! Jellyfish don't purposely attack humans, but sometimes we accidentally bump into them while playing in the ocean. Jellyfish are awesome. What's your favorite thing about jellyfish? Thanks for watching. All right. So before we get started, we are going to gather all of our materials. For this experiment, you will need I have a list here for you. A transparent plastic grocery bag, a plastic water bottle or jug, a string or rubber band, food coloring of choice. Ms. Carodimos and I have chosen to, uh, to use the color blue for the ocean, scissors, and a glass cup. All right. So we are gonna do it with you step-by-step step after we will share with you the instructions that we have written down. So what we want you to start with is your plastic bag. What we're gonna do with this plastic bag is we are going to cut a medium-sized square out of it to create the body of the jellyfish. So I'm gonna take my scissors and begin cutting. The square does not have to be completely perfect, but you do want to make it as square as you can. See, I've cut my square. Our next step is we are going to take a glass and we are going to put the paper bag that we've cut out and we're going to place it over the bag, holding it. What we're going to do next is we are going to take some water that we have and we are going to put a few drops of water right in the center of the glass. Now 
after you've poured your water, you're going to want to take the edges, pull them up, and at the bottom, you should have like the little head for the jellyfish filled with the water. And that's where you're going to use your rubber band or your elastic, or I'm sorry, or your string to tie it. I'm putting my rubber band to keep all that water in that space. After you have secured the water with your rubber band or your string, you are going to take the ends of your plastic bag above the water and you're going to cut them into small strips, this part here, to create the tentacles of the jellyfish. They do not all have to be the same size, but it's best if they are cut nice and thin. does take a few minutes. How are you doing over there, Miss Medeiros? Doing great. My jellyfish is really coming along. How about you? Same. I'm just still cutting those tentacles. It does take a while, but it's totally worth it. It is. Makes it really look lifelike. I agree. Here's my little jellyfish. Perfect. I have a couple more strips to go. I'm going to set aside the materials that I already use and won't need to use just so it's out of the way. So what we're going to what we're going to do after we cut the tentacles is we're going to start creating the bottle. So what I would like you to do is if you did not start with the water already in your bottle is to fill your bottle that you are using, your bottle or jar with water. So I already have my water in my bottle. I'm actually going to pour a little bit out because I think I might have added a bit too much. So what you're gonna do now is you are going to take the food coloring of your choice. As Ms. Medeiros already said, we both decided to do blue to make it really look like the ocean. So I'm gonna take my blue food coloring and I'm gonna add just maybe like two or three drops to create the blue color. I'm gonna put my cap on it and shake it up just so the blue will disperse evenly through the wa water bottle. You can see now I have my water looking more like the ocean. Our next step is to unscrew the cap and now we are going to add our jellyfish to our bottle. So I'm gonna put it head first maybe. Oh, that's a really good idea, Ms. Caridemos. And I'm just going to push it right in there. It might take, uh, it might help if you take your scissors and kind of just push the jellyfish in. Oh, that's a great idea too. 
me at least, I have an open jar, so it's just easier to use something to poke through. Right. And now we're gonna put our cap back on our water bottle. And to get our jellyfish to go to our water, I'm gonna actually just flip it upside down. And you can see the jellyfish floating in the water. If you want it to move, you can just keep turning your water bottle up and down. We hope that you enjoyed this experiment and we hope to see some of you sharing your final products with us. I will be posting the final instructions at the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.